Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make either your live event or webinar event accessible to everyone outside your organization. And I'm going to demo this to you by you know going straight to my calendar and let's start with the webinar feature. So I'm going to show you the issue that we have here. Right now, this is the webinar feature and in case you want to learn how to create a webinar event for people within the organization, there's a link up here. Just click on the link, you see the short video that walks you through. When I click here for people who are to register for this event, you're going to notice that, you know, is it, is it that I make it none, meaning nobody should register and they should be part, they should be able to make it to the webinar? or only people in my organization and for everyone which includes people outside the organization i do not have that enabled all right so we need to see we want to see how we can enable this let's go back i'm going to discard this and also go back to my live event and you know so power platform let me just create something and put power platform here and if i click on next you're going to see that the public cannot as well cannot access this live event only people within my organization or specific people so i'm just going to click on close and discard this as well all right how do we then make it active that everyone especially people outside the organization can have access to a live event and also your webinar you need to be an admin or better still you can ask and point your administrator to this part. So how do you do that? I'm logged in with an admin account, which is my Microsoft developer account. You want to see how to create a Microsoft developer account, developer account to learn. You know, you also see the link here or at the end of this video, you're gonna see the link to do that. When you log into your office portal, just locate your admin, you know, app. And when I click on it, you know, take me to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I'm just going to show all and locate Teams Admin Center. So I'm going to launch it as well. All right, I'm on the Teams Admin um, Center now, Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Locate Meetings. And from Meetings, go to Live Event. And go to Live Event, Live Event Policies. So if you want to make this accessible to everyone in the organization, then just go ahead and click on this Global Policy. Now, when I click on the global policy, you're going to see who can join scheduled live event. Everyone in the organization. I need to change this to everyone, just everyone. So that way, everyone is the highest level of openness. So once you have it there and you save, it's going to make it accessible to everyone. But, you know, just be careful in case we want to turn it on for a specific people. Let's just leave it as this and click on cancel. But rather, um, had a new policy and here you can call it live event creator and make this one everyone and i'm just going to click on save all right so th for this live event thing i can add sorry i can i've checked it i can add, assign it to users so by clicking on this manage users so this way i can specify who can make use of it so i'm going to specify all our charts I'm going to add a lot charts. I'm also going to add add advance. Okay, I'm going to add add advance. They'll be able to allow everyone within, you know, outside the organization to also. I'm going to click on apply. So whenever they create a live event, they'll be able to allow people outside the organization to register for that event. Sometimes it can take 24 hours before the changes take effect. But right now, I'm going to sign out of my Microsoft Teams and um, sign in again and see if. It has taken effect right now i've signed out of my teams and signed it again just to be sure the changes can take effect and synchronized and i'm going to start with the webinar let's check so i have people within organization all right it's not yet there so it's not yet active you can check back yours after 24 hours i'm going to discard let's go to live event and i'm going to call this Teams feature. Let's just leave the settings as they are and move next. 
all right this is done so now you can allow anyone it will be open to anyone you know use this when most of the attendees are outside of the organization no signing required so this has been done you know it's working for for live event just the webinar that is not yet activated you can always check that back all right thank you and i hope this is helpful bye for now